What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar lesson for Butterfly by BTS. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs from BTS that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you need to know to play Butterfly by BTS is that we're going to need a capo on first fret. And if you don't have a capo, I have a link to a free one right up here. The next thing you want to know to play Butterfly is the six chords we need to play this song. The first one is C add nine. The next one is E minor. The next one is A minor. The next one is D minor. The next one is F. And the last one is A sharp. And don't freak out guys, I know that F and A sharp are pretty tricky chords, but I'm going to have beginner ways to play those in the pinned comment below, as well as chord charts for all the other chords down there too. The last thing you need to know before we dive into this song is the structure of the song. We're going to start with verse, then we're going to go to chorus, then we're gonna to go to verse again, and then we're gonna play the first half of the chorus, and then we're gonna to go to the bridge, and then we're gonna play one full chorus, and that's the end of the song. All right, guys, that brings us into verse. So the verse, this picking, this thing that's kind of like makes this song special, this is probably what most of you guys want to learn. So our chord progression for that is gonna be F, C add nine, E minor, and A minor. And the only thing that's going to be a little bit different about each one of these chords is that if there isn't already one, we're going to add our pinky to third fret of the high E of all of these chords. So our F is actually going to look like this right here. We're going to throw our pinky there. That's what our F's going to look like. And then we're going to move to our C, which is going to be regular C add nine, just like that. Then we're going to go to E minor, but we're going to keep that pinky on high E third. Then we're going to go to A minor and keep that pinky high E third. So now on to what we're doing for picking for this. Now this is going to be very fast and a little bit tricky if you're a beginner. So I'm not saying that to discourage you, but it's going to take a little bit of extra practice. I'm going to actually finger pick this. You can use a pick if you want to, but to show you guys a little bit more clearly what each individual string is being picked, I'm going to finger pick it. Before we dive into this picking pattern, I want to make sure you guys know what I'm talking about when I say bass note. A bass note is just the lowest note of whatever chord you're playing. So for your F, in this case, that's going to be on the D string. For your C and A minor, that's going to be on your A string. And for your E minor, that's going to be on your low E string. So with that in mind, I'm going to use our F chord as our example for our picking pattern. Our picking pattern is going to go bass note, G, B, bass note, high E, B, G, B, twice per chord. So we're going to play all the way through that picking progression twice per chord. It's a lot and it is kind of fast. Like I said, this is... This is not exactly the beginner friendly part of this song, it's tricky. Now you can just play these chords with just a regular strum pattern, if you want to do that you can hit me up in the comments below, I'll give you a strum pattern that you can use for this, but that's going to be exactly what they're playing. So guys, I'm going to walk through that once really slowly so you guys can really see what I'm doing over here on this side, and then I'm going to walk through it about full speed a couple times so you guys can really match it up with the song and play along with it. Slowly will look about like this. And guys, that chord progression with that picking pattern, your verses should look about like this full speed. Again guys, that is super, super fast. So if you're a beginner and you don't get that first try through that picking pattern full speed, just do it over and over and over again. You'll get a little quicker every single time that you do it and before too long, you'll be up to full speed. So now on to chorus. Our chord progression for chorus, we're gonna have two of them. We're gonna go F, C, E minor, and A minor. That's our first chord progression. We're gonna play through that twice. Our second chord progression is going to go F, D minor, A sharp, 
and then C add nine. And we're gonna play through that twice as well. Our strum pattern for the chorus is gonna go down, down, up, down, up, down, down for each chord. Guys, once all the way through that chorus chord progression with that strum pattern, your choruses should look about like this. From there guys, we're on a bridge, but before I show you what the bridge looks like, I wanna explain that part where we're gonna play half of the chorus for that second chorus in the song. So the structure of the song, one more time, it goes verse, chorus, verse again, and then we're gonna play half of the first chorus. So we're just gonna play half of that. We're gonna play that F, C, E minor, A minor part of the chorus twice, and then we're gonna go straight to bridge from there. Bridge is just gonna be the second part of the chorus. We're gonna go that F, D minor, a sharp and C. And what we're gonna do for that is it's gonna be a build. So as far as our strum pattern for that goes, we're gonna do on the F and the D minor, we're gonna do four down strums per chord. We're gonna go. Then we go to A sharp. For A sharp, we're gonna do eight down strums per chord. So we're picking up the speed a little bit. And then we're gonna go to C and for C, we're gonna go up, down, eight times for that one. We're basically just double timing it each time we go up a chord. So guys, your bridge with that building strum pattern will look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Butterfly on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 490 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you have any song requests, I do two of those from the comments every single week, but I get a ton of them. So if you want to guarantee that I'll get to your song request, hit up my Patreon, links in the description. If you guys want to see a short little preview every single day of what song I'm teaching that day before I post it, you can hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar dude link for that's gonna be in the description as well guys I have gotten a ton of requests for butterfly by BTS I've actually gotten a ton of requests for all kinds of BTS songs and honestly I'm like just now starting to get into k-pop there's always been a few songs that I've liked here and there but k-pop is really taking off right now which is awesome I think it's really cool all this new BTS stuff is coming up where it's getting big there's all kinds of other cool k-pop stuff that's coming out so be sure to let me know what other k-pop songs you guys want to learn in the comments below because I'm watching those and I'm gonna try to start doing some some more K-pop some more often. Right now I'm kind of stuck on BTS because their new album came out and a lot of people are wanting to see more of their stuff, but if there's other artists I should check out that are K-pop people, definitely let me know because I'm kind of new at all the K-pop stuff. So I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning it too. I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all soon.